This is kind of, not kind of, this is fire. This is, I can't believe I've never seen this. Hey there, party people. Welcome back to SJ TV. I'm your host, SJ. If this is your first time joining us, thank you and welcome. Today, we are on day five of our series for the five day bundle of Dimash, RM, and BTS, provided by supporter and party person, May Kacha, who chose our five video bundle over at Kofi.com. Now, without further ado, the moment you've all been waiting for, Singularity by V. Now, naturally, I've never heard the song before, and I barely even knew that V was a solo artist that was tethered to the BTS band. So thanks again, May Katcha, for letting me know what's going on and the fact that the different band members have their own separate solo careers. It's really cool to see that. So basically overviewing the entire song, the themes are of introspection, identity, and portraying inner conflict and emotional struggle of feeling lost and disconnected from oneself. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, I de all right. I definitely have to put my subtitles on. Hold on. What is up with this? What? Where's my subtitles? I hope there's some on. Guys, this is D'Angelo, How Does It Feel? I'm sorry, it sounds a lot like that. How does it feel? Uh, it's awesome. I mean, that, that formula will always work. It's that, you know, night music, if you will. You know, it, it's got, he's got this hand on the, <laughs> on the, what they call that the foggy glass or the foggy mirror however you want to put it okay let's get into it it's sensual This is kind of, not kind of, this is fire. This is, I can't believe I've never seen this. Of all the things that I've watched in my life, it's, I mean, I can see why it's big. It's so sleek. It has um, so much character. It's fun to watch. He is in so many different scenes. And the first thing I thought of, like, only from, how can I put this? I feel like people are a little bit more experimental outside of the U.S. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, a U.S. citizen, so trust me, I'm not disparaging my own people. We are creative, but I think that when I mean experimental, I mean this. I think that, especially a lot of the male artists, they seem to really go outside the box, and they're very imaginative. And even watching, like this section right here, where he's doing this choreo, I almost thought it was BTS behind him, but it's his dancers, right? And they're of different ethnic backgrounds. I see a few Asian guys. I think I saw one black guy. And I didn't, I almost was like, am I watching the right video? Because it was so much movement for such a subdued R&B track. Because essentially this is an R&B track. Don't get it twisted. It's R&B. But uh, from a pop artist to do this, kudos, you know? It, it, clearly, um, He's obviously probably very young, but if he doesn't know D'Angelo, he's heard different iterations or maybe he's heard samples of it, but it, it's completely that. It's that all day. So when I got 
Not them dancing with the mannequins. <laughs> Roxy, this is Emmy. Emmy, Roxy. Now, in terms of his voice, he has a very um, I would I would describe it as smoky, smooth sound. There's not anything distinctly hitting me because that's not what the purpose of this particular vocal track is. But bear in mind, you know, I like to talk about the vocal abilities and really just the vocal textures. I think he just has one of those voices that you can play at any time and you'll never get sick of it. Breathy. So that's to me the first person I think of when I think breathy. I think Brandy. You know, but there's so many artists. But it's 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 definitely a push and pull. It's all in that mood. It's all in that sensual mood. But overall, and I should look at the lyrics more to see what he's really talking about because they're on. But I'm so immersed in the video that I'm not really looking at the lyrics right now but these masks are cool and that reminds me of Squid Game a little bit I keep on just getting a lot of these Neo Soul references I, there's so many Neo Soul artists we talk about Maxwell D'Angelo even some parts of Janet's catalog Jill Scott this has that vibe Selena Johnson if you guys are familiar all great artists but this 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 fits right in that playlist <laughs> Get it, come on now, yeah. She in water, huh? Oh, was that him? <laughs> oh, it's <was> all him. <laughs> Oh, interesting. I wonder what the significance of that was. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. I mean, I probably sound like a broken record if you've seen my other videos, but I, I'm really enjoying these different suggestions and requests from you guys. Thank you, Mekatra, for this one. This was definitely a song you can use on a playlist or two. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm a married man. But anyway, <laughs> that was really, really fun. Um, Fun isn't even the word. It was it was immersive and eye opening because I was expecting something totally different. And I think when I was mentioning before how a lot of USA artists are scared to kind of go out the box, I think it's because I'm not used to seeing artists sing so softly and so moody with such high energy choreo in this way. I think some of the women do it. The men, you know, you have your ushers and stuff. But how can I put this? It, it's a little bit different and that's fine. He's from a different part of the world. So there's going to be a different take, a different perspective on how to execute these songs. But I love that he chose to execute it in a way that every hit, even in a slow song, is hit with a uh, five, six, seven, eight. You know, I got to always respect the five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to click the next one right here.